Just like the sign says, 75 years of fun here at Holiday World. Happy birthday. What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and this is the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Today I'm in Holiday World, the biggest amusement park in the state of Indiana. It's actually the first, well they claim it to be, the first theme park ever in the United States opening in 1946, nine years before Disneyland. They are themed after Christmas, was the original theme. It was actually originally called Santa Claus Land. In 1984, they added Halloween and also the 4th of July to this amusement park. So now it is, it is called Holiday World. It's been Holiday World since 1984. And in 2006, they further added Thanksgiving. So they are adding other holidays throughout the years. I'm excited to be here. This is my first time here ever at Holiday World. It's been on my bucket list for a long time. But follow me, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna ride some critically acclaimed roller coasters. Let's go. Gotta love the Christmas ornaments here on the fountain as you walk in. And they even have a plaque saying, since 1946, four generations of our family have celebrated the magic of Christmas with our guests. We're grateful to be part of every child's smile and every wonderful memory made here. This fountain is dedicated to all who have visited this park in the past on this day and for generations to come. From our family to yours, we wish you a Merry Christmas today and every day. The Koch family, the family who founded this park. In here greeting you at the front of the park is the big guy himself, Santa Claus, dressed in his best. You can pose and take a picture with him. Well, let's do that. Check it out, I'm with Santa Claus. Gotta high five the big guy. Welcome to Holiday World. So walking around the plaza here, they have a lot of Christmas themed shops, some restaurants. You can really see that the Christmas theme is what they started with. And then as you get further into the park, you branch off into the other seasons. The first roller coaster I wanna to hit today is the Raven. The Raven was the first one that opened in the park here in 1995. It's in Halloween world. Halloween's my favorite holiday. So without further ado, let's go ride the Raven. Here we are, Halloween world. I love these old school Halloween decorations. In fact, growing up as a kid, my, my mom and my dad used to hang those all over our house. They're, I don't know who is the artist behind those, but they're a very famous style of Halloween decor. You can see they go all out with the theming. They've got banners with the Halloween season displayed all over this Halloween part of the park. Here's the entrance to the Raven. Quote, the Raven nevermore. Little Edgar Allan Poe theme. Let's go do this. This is supposed to be an amazing roller coaster. You can see the Raven station's got this haunted house theme to it. Pretty cool how the coaster comes out of that, wraps around. Man, this, is, this might be the tightest line I've ever seen in my life. There's like not a whole lot of width at all here. Packed like sardines. So one of the benefits of waiting in line at the Raven is you can get a free show. There's a diving show going on. So uh, if I got a 20 minute wait, might get a little entertainment here. This tree branch is in the way, but this guy just climbed up like Spider-Man on this pole. I think he's about to jump in. Yeah, look at that. He's going higher and higher. Whew. guys that didn't make the Olympics team. So if you time it right, you get a free diving show in line for the Raven. Just think that through. Beware, the Raven may steal your glasses. Better put those away. You do not want the Raven taking your things. Actually standing under the track right now. It's kind of, it feels good down here. There's no turning back now. I'm almost to the station. There's the roller coaster right there. So I'll find out. If I don't get the footage, then I'll just give you a quick review after the ride's over. There it is, the Raven roller coaster. All right, well, that was Raven. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring my GoPro. You know, it's just the gamble of uh, the game. Like some parks you can film in, some parks you cannot. Holiday World so happens to be one of those that are a little more strict with filming on the rides, especially even GoPros. 
it is what it is. That being said, this ride is incredible. The Raven was voted one of the best wooden roller coasters in the world for years. It still, in my opinion, holds close to that title. I mean, I've been on so many roller coasters. I, this easily makes my top 10 as far as wooden roller coasters is concerned. So I've got three more roller coasters I want to hit up today. Next, I'm going to hit up the Legend. So let's depart the Raven. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. Little Edgar Allan Poe for you there. And let's hit up the Legend. And there's the plaque right outside the exit line. It's official, the Ace Roller Coaster Landmark for the Raven. Gotta say, I really like the ride. For a wooden roller coaster, it was pretty smooth and a beautiful uh, scene going through the woods, going through the forest. It really moved fast through the trees. I liked it. Again, I love the theming of this park. This ride here, Scarecrow Scrambler. One of those scrambler rides that spins you around in circles. There's the legend. Next stop. Oh yeah, the legend. Themed after Sleepy Hollow, the Headless Horseman. All right, here we are, the legend opened in 2000. The second newest, or second oldest roller coaster, I should say. Another very long line. Because you're already going to Gotta see the lines. Look, at the, look how narrow these queue lines are. I think this park has the narrowest queue lines of any park I've ever been to. Just look, a couple lost souls hanging out next to the legend. <laughs> Just realized the station is themed like an old schoolhouse. Even have the bell on top that rings every once in a while. It's a pretty awesome theming. It's the, uh, you know, the legend, the story of Ichabod Crane. He was a school teacher. And there you have it. The station is a schoolhouse. Like an early, creepy looking schoolhouse. So at the Raven, the Raven was threatening to take my glasses, but here at the legend, the headless horseman might steal my glasses. So what's with what's with people stealing glasses here at Holiday World? And furthermore, what is a headless horseman gonna do with glasses? He doesn't have a head. So I'm in the queue line, I'm in the station. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bring the camera or not, so we will see. If not, I will give you guys another recap. Keeping my fingers crossed. What the heck is that? Oh, they're like test dummies. I think that's what those are. I think they fill those with water and they, I guess they test the rides of these things. Maybe it's the Headless Horseman's victims. The ones that didn't make it across the bridge. Think they ever pour beer in these things and have a house party? Huh? Be a nice substitute for a keg. Maybe around Halloween. Another thing I noticed is they even had a chalkboard to fit the schoolhouse thing with uh, a picture of Sleepy Hollow on it. The legend. She's ringing the bell. Well, there you have it. That is the legend. I didn't get to film on this either. They're very strict, again, with filming. Even if it's a GoPro at this park, I'm gonna respect that. It is what it is. But the legend, another great roller coaster. I like the Raven a little bit better, but the legend had a lot of covered bridge theme to it. So definitely check it out. It is a fun roller coaster to ride as well. That's awesome. They even have Sleepy Hollow themed games. This is the Headless Horseman. You gotta race these. You throw the balls in and race the horseman. Nobody's playing it right now, but I'll try to get that later. Check it out. The Headless Horseman. So one thing that's truly unique with this theme park is they have these things called Pepsi Oasis. You can literally just go in and grab a free cup of Pepsi or Mountain Dew, Pepsi products, or even water. Kind of a cool thing uh, to stay hydrated. It's extremely windy in here. But I'm gonna go with Mountain Dew. Let's do Mountain Dew. That Mountain Dew looked very watered out. Well, I learned the hard way. Don't go with Mountain Dew because it's all watered down. They don't refill these things very much, so. It just tastes like flat pop. Get something unpopular like, I don't know, Sierra Mist? Who drinks that? 
to get another round, but it's still a cool idea. I approve. Gotta get some ice just so the cup doesn't blow away. I'm gonna go with Pepsi this time. Let's do that. Let's go with the Pepsi. We're with the Pepsi this time. It's actually not flat. That one, that one wins. Go with the Pepsi. Or if you really want to be daring, get a kamikaze. I think I'll get a kamikaze next time. That's where you fill your cup with every single soda on the fountain. At least that's what I called it as a kid. It's very refreshing on a summer day like today. Pretty cool, the swings even have a Halloween theme. Got witches, ghosts. They go all out in the theming here. I have to give them that. Here's the next theme park they have here, 4th of July. Well, it is July, so let's check this out. It's fitting. One more thing I like is every themed land that I've been so far today, they play music that fits the theme that I'm in. So here I'm in 4th of July land. You can hear it's patriotic music playing. In the Halloween world, it was more spooky theme music, popular Halloween tunes. I don't know what Thanksgiving's gonna be. What are, what are Thanksgiving songs? Here's a nice view of the Thanksgiving world off in the distance. That is Thunderbird, the steel coaster on the right. And Voyager is the wooden roller coaster there on the left. And Massive Hill is the Voyager. That is currently rated as one of the greatest wooden roller coasters in the world. And that is where I'm headed next. I just got a little bit lost. Somehow ended up in this picnic area trying to get over there. What the heck is that? This is something you don't see every day, a family dryer. That looks like something straight out of Star Wars. Oh, it's money to do that. I don't want to do that then. That is weird. I've never seen that before. A family dryer. I think I found it, Thanksgiving. This is the last of the lands. I haven't been to this one yet. And this has more of the newer big attractions. Like I said earlier, all the themes have like thematic music. Is this a good one? All right, they said this is the best, Thanksgiving. What I was trying to get at is all the themed lands here in the park have music that pertains to that theme. What in the world is a Thanksgiving song? I don't think I've ever heard of a Thanksgiving song. With a K, yeah. As I was saying, I don't think I've ever heard of a Thanksgiving themed song. Maybe Jingle Bells? Is that a, th I've heard that's a Thanksgiving themed song, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll be curious to see what they are playing at Thanksgiving land, and here we'll find out. Check this out. Here it is, Thanksgiving land. This is the newest themed land in the park. It opened up in 2006, and the voyage straight ahead is the roller coaster I came to ride. Let's do this. You can see they still have the themed banners here in Thanksgiving world. A cornucopia of fun is what I'm expecting here. Yay, what's going on guys? Here's the voyage. I may have called it the Voyager earlier. All right, this is roller coaster number three today. I've ridden The Legend, The Raven, and now it's time for The Voyager, which is critically acclaimed as the greatest wooden roller coaster in the world. So let's do this. One thing I will say is so far The Voyage has the best queue line because it's like, look at these giant massive fans. They're blowing everywhere. It's nice and air conditioned in here. We're not baking in the sun and the queues are actually a little bit wider in here as well. So it's good, not too bad. Check it out, it's a ship's wheel because this roller coaster is called The Voyage, which is based off the Pilgrims. I like the very lightly themed scenery they have going on here. Look, the pilgrims are dropping jewelry all over the rooftop. There's even more up here. All right, she's gonna throw. Are you gonna throw it? Oh, there it goes. Good job, very good job, good throw. So people peel off these shoe signs and they throw them on the rooftop, look at that. What kind of people are these? 
and they're sticking with the lost glasses theme. This one, it's beware, glasses may wash overboard. The pilgrims aren't going to take your glasses. They're just going to fall and wash overboard into the, I was going to say the ocean, but the, the grass of southern Indiana. Nice shirt, man. That's awesome. Hey, girls, is this the best ride in the park? Yes. There it is. You heard it here, folks. Holy cow, that might be the best roller coaster I've ever been on. Wow, that may be the best roller coaster I've ever been on. Best wooden roller coaster. That thing was long. The ride went for, I think, several minutes. Overall, it was very smooth, but that thing was incredible. I will say, now the line's getting long. The Voyage, it's between the Voyage or, the, or Hades at Mount Olympus in the Wisconsin Dells. Those two are the best wooden roller coasters I have ever been on. If you have a chance, you're ever here at Holiday World, you have to go on the voyage. Amazing. Just picked up a magnet at the gift shop outside the voyage. Look at this shirt, time to get basted. Little Thanksgiving theme. I think I'm finally getting the hang of these Pepsi Oasis. You really have to try a few different drinks just so you know they're not out of it because I've, I've had a few that the syrup is out. That's, that's pretty gross. Gotta love this, the big game. Football and Thanksgiving. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Also have the Turkey Whirl, another Thanksgiving theme ride they have here at Holiday World. I think my gizzard's getting dizzy. They also have a dark ride called Gobbler Getaway. It's very unique to the park here. I'm gonna give this a shot. Not really sure what this is all about, but it's a dark ride with a Thanksgiving theme, so why not? Let's do this. Upon walking into Gobbler Getaway, there's a scarecrow. It says, all riders this way. And there's a, I guess he's kind of a happy looking turkey looking up at him. So let's check this out. Let's see what this is. Nothing says family time. Like grandma teaching you how to shoot with an eight millimeter. Seriously though, this is really creepy. It's an animatronic grandma. I think it's safe to say that this grandma will not be run over by a reindeer anytime soon. Oh, it's a turkey collar. So that's what that is. It's a, it's a turkey collar that we use in the ride to gobble at the turkeys that are hiding. I think that's what that is. It's a turkey collar. It looked like an eight millimeter pistol, but I guess it's a turkey collar. All right, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but we'll find out here in a second. We're on the ride. Uh, Turkey Town, USA. We're just going to clean up your all's messes, boys. <laughs> I think these guys are going to beat us. <laughs> this rate. Oh, wow. This is hilarious. Look at this. This is a turkey collar. Which a happy town folk. To the turkey farm. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's the mission. All right, there we go. Got to get the targets. Oh. 
So it's almost Thanksgiving, we have to find the turkeys. Oh, it's a scarecrow. Oh, they're all over. This is full fall, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, somebody got that. Gotta love the covered bridges. <laughs> oh, I got one. This is hilarious, it really is. I, lo I love this turkey call sound. <laughs> oh, there's one. There's another. Oh, no one came out of the well. He's all wet. Oh, that, oh he's baking the, the turkey. Oh no, that one's in the oven. There's a turkey in the dressing room. Get it? They're dressing the turkey. It's a bad, bad world. <laughs> Just wait, Autumn Falls. So I'm loving the fall theme. <laughs> Van Soodle's Turkey Farm. Oh, it's 1785. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not serving turkey for dinner, they're serving pizza. pizza. That could be a good substitute. <laughs> oh, I got 300. You guys beat me. Before you had 690, Ooh. you had ours up. So I'm hitting all your misses. He's not missing very many for him. <laughs> That's true. Oh, there it is. Happy Thanksgiving. We got a big turkey celebration. That's cool. And there it is. Happy Thanksgiving. Turkeys are happy. I am, uh, I did horrible. I'm filming and sh I guess it's not shooting, but it, it is what it is. 300, I am a gobbler wannabe. I don't think any of us are master turkey callers, so I'll have to work on our game. <laughs> Get me out of here, Eric. Get me out of here, Eric, with a K. All right, well, that was fun. That was a great dark ride. What's that? Yeah, no, nice oh, to meet you, man. nice yeah. to meet you, too. Take care today. All right, man. That was fun. Yeah. All right, well, that was a fun dark ride. Uh, jumped in with another family, had a good time. I got last place, of course. You know, that's my excuse, trying to film, but really, I'm just a bad, bad shot. Yeah, there you go. Gobbler getaway. That thing was fun. I love unique dark rides at any theme park, so it's kind of unique having a Thanksgiving dark ride. Totally we'll do it again. I just don't want to wait in line for another hour to do that. They've also got a restaurant called the Plymouth Rock Cafe where they serve Thanksgiving themed foods like turkey. If I get time today, I will totally eat here, but I've got a lot more rides. I'm trying to get in. The clock is ticking and the lines are long. So right now, getting in as many rides is my goal. If I get time to eat somewhere cool here, then I will totally do that later. They got a ship called the Mayflower. That's that classic swinging ship ride that you see at most theme parks here in the Thanksgiving section. So I've done all three wooden roller coasters and the dark ride, but I'm not full yet. I still have an appetite for one more here in the Thanksgiving land, and that is Thunderbird. And this is very loud music, but I'm gonna hit a Thunderbird, the biggest steel coaster and the only steel coaster they have in the amusement park. So let's do this. I probably won't be able to film on this as well, but I'll let you know about it. I guess this answers my question from earlier. This is Thanksgiving music. It's very bluesy, folk grassy music.
Here it is, Thunderbird just opened up in 2015. Four inversions, a boost out of the station. Kind of reminds me of the Hulk at Universal Studios. All right, let's do this. So far, there's no line. Look at this, it's a covered wagon. I love the theming at this park. I've said that over and over again, but the theming here is impeccable. Sorry, that was a bad Thanksgiving joke, turkey joke. All right, I lied, I found the queue line. Hopefully this one's not an hour long like every other one today. And where there's Thunderbirds, there's lightning rods. You can buy some apparently at Hebron's Mercantile, which is maybe next door. I'll have to look at that later. I love the barn theme that they have. I will say that though. And every time you hear the boost take off, it sounds like thunder and the lightnings flicker. I'll try to catch that. I will say of all of the rides I've been on, they finally figured it out with the queue lines. Look how much wider these queues are compared to every other ride here in the park. They figured it out. So it looks like you've got two roller coaster trains to choose from. You can do the Thunderbird left or the Thunderbird right. And there are two lines up to the station. Not sure which one, I guess I'll just do whatever one has the shortest line. I've opted for the left Thunderbird. I think the line is a little bit shorter, so I'm gonna go with this one. There it is, we made it to the docking station. Pretty sweet looking roller coaster. You sit on the side. I think the boost is zero to 60 in like three seconds. Holy cow, Thunderbird. Might be the best roller coaster in the park. This and Voyager, but they're completely different styles. This is by far one of the best steel roller coasters I've ever been on. That boost is intense, zero to 60 in like three seconds. And I just learned that vertical loop is the largest of its kind for this type of roller coaster. If I didn't have to wait in line for another hour, I'd be jumping right back into that. But that was intense, totally worth it. And each of the four inversions were unique. They were totally different types of inversions. It even ended basically on a big huge inversion. So amazing, gotta do this ride. After waiting in line for an hour, I am parched. I need to get a drink. Time to hit the Pepsi Oasis. You're right, dude, shake it. I'm doing all right. I'm too much, it's too much caffeine. I think I'm finally getting these Pepsi Oasis down. Every theme park should have this. Free Pepsi, free soda. It's good for a hot summer day. Mm. Hey, they don't have any lightning rods in Hevron's Mercantile. What the heck? A part of me wants to get this dad hat that says Holiday World and Splash and Safari, Santa Claus, Indiana. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Look at this, how cool is this? You can get little mini roller coasters, models of the roller coasters they have here in the park. I've never seen that before at any theme park. Awesome. Oh, 
All right, so I've done all four roller coasters and the dark ride. I'm gonna try to get on a water ride before it's too late. The sun is already starting to set. Parks open till 10 p.m., but most water rides close about eight. So we'll see how quickly I can get over there, either the raft or the log flume. I'm gonna hit one of the two. I think I remember hearing years ago that there was a water ride located right here that was the world's largest log flume. It was either a log flume or like a boat drop it had the world's law, uh, tallest drop though, and I don't know what the, the reasons war were, whether it was some maintenance issues or malfunctioning, but they ended up tearing it down. I'm very hazy on the history and knowledge of this ride, but I recognize this empty water track. I believe this was it. I think this is where this was located. Somebody can comment down below, tell a little more about what this water ride was, but here is its remains. You can see that the massive drop is no longer here at Holiday World, but its skeleton is. All right, I don't know if it's too late. The line was open. Here's Raging Rapids. I'm gonna try to get on as quick as I can. Whew, just got off the Raging River. Look at my hair, I am drenched. Head to toe, head to toe. It was amazing, great ride. Of course, again, they don't let me bring the GoPro in this park, but it is what it is. I can still talk about it. it you know, it's a kind of a typical Raging River ride with the rafts. And uh, the one that was cr cruel and unusual punishment with this one, they actually had a waterfall in the middle of this uh, old western town. So no matter where you're sitting on the raft, you get absolutely drenched. So always plan for that at the end of the night when the sun's starting to go down, because when you go back to your car, you'll be sitting you in the can't. seats. Yeah, look at this guy, shout out, he's excited. You're gonna be sitting in your seats with soggy butts. So that's, uh, I always plan things right. Let's do Frightful Falls, where there's like a mutant alligator, musky looking thing. I don't know if this is open still, but we're gonna try to hit it up. See if we get soaking wet after the sun sets. Whew. That was a good one. As you can see, my hair is completely wet. Got drenched in the log flume. Ah. You know, one thing I will say, the beginning of that log flume was epic. You enter this like cave and it's completely pitch black for almost a minute. You go down a little hill in the darkness of night inside the tunnel. That was pretty exciting. Other than that, kind of a routine log flume, but the hill at the end was a good sized hill. Had fun. Didn't see any mutant alligators. All in all, it was a good time. All right, I'm gonna walk around the park, explore it at night, try to dry off before I have to head out. I missed the Thanksgiving dinner at Plymouth Rock Restaurant. Maybe I should try a Goblin Burger. No idea what's in a Goblin Burger. Looks like Slimer from Ghostbusters eating a burger yeah, on the sign. Hmm. I love amusement parks at night when the lights go on. You notice things that you didn't notice before, like take a look at that jack-o'-lantern glowing on top of the swings. There's also these bats with glowing red eyes at the top of the swing ride. I love the little things. People love their Pepsi here. Bon appétit. A little too much Dr. Pepper. But I think the Pepsi Mountain Dew ratio is spot on. Love a good old kamikaze. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way up on its side. Yeah. 
You know, when I was younger, I used to love to do these spinny rides. I could still do it, but it wouldn't matter here because they wouldn't let me bring my GoPro on it anyway. So you wouldn't know whether I did or not either way. I'll just tell you that I did. Over here is the Liberty Launch. It's a kind of a mini little launch tower, not a really big one compared to most theme parks. And over here they have a Lewis and Clark trail ride, but I guess it's like old timey automobiles. So not sure what Lewis and Clark have to do with old cars. We've also got a Rough Riders bumper car ride with Teddy Roosevelt, my favorite president. Can't really get up and see a good view though. And look, they've got a Star Spangled Carousel. How charming is this? Really like this early 20th century architecture. Very dapper. Well, what better way is it to end the night than to end the night on the train? I think the train is one of those rides you want, like me personally, I like to ride it either the first ride when I get to a new park or end the night on the train. Because I wanted to get so many roller coasters in today and it was so crowded on a Saturday, I decided I'm gonna end the night on the train, the Howla Dog Express. Should be a nice comforting ride to end the day. Maybe dry off a little bit from those water rides. Oh, there's like nursery rhymes on the train. I don't even remember what these are. <laughs> to be honest, the, the pumpkin guy one. Okay, uh, little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds away. Oh, this is horrible. I haven't read these since I was a kid. <laughs> oh, there's Humpty Dumpty. He hasn't fallen yet. Watch out. Don't fall. Oh, there's a little mini steel coaster here too. If that light doesn't want to look like a UFO in the background. Who is that? He's eating pie. This is ter it's terrible. I can't even remember who these are. That guy is stealing a pig. Little Bo Peep, I know that one. Your sheep's over there. You're over there. I tried. Oh, okay. Jack and the Beanstalk. I know that one. That giant looks pretty angry. The little old lady who lived in a shoe. I don't know if I'd ever want to live in a shoe. Oh, that's a nice action shot there. Nice catch. Yeah, we got a covered bridge, a tunnel. Is that Jack and Jill? Went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Yes, I know that one. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. I remember that one. Oh, Little Boy Blue. Somebody said that up front, otherwise I would have had no idea. Ah, this is cool. It's like a fairy tale train ride. Oh, now we're back at the station. Whew. That was brutal. Apparently I can't remember any of my nursery rhymes. It's been years since I've read nursery rhymes. I've got a nephew now, so maybe I can start picking that up again someday. But yeah, maybe uh, some of you know the nursery rhymes that I couldn't figure out on that train ride. Just came across this. They actually have the Freedom Train, which was one of the original rides here at the park. Operated from 1946 to 2012, and here it is on display. It's now since been replaced by the Holodog Express. But here it is, the Freedom Train. There's a few shops here as well. Let's take a look at the Liberty Shop. Let's see what they got inside. They have Santa hats for $5. Your official Holiday World Santa Claus, Indiana Santa hat. I might have to get one later. 
They've got some magnets for sale. You can see Holiday World with the Indiana, the state of Indiana outlined. And here's a little throwback, the original Santa Claus land. The original, na the original name of this theme park. Also love this Santa Claus land patch where every day is Christmas. I like this as well, do what makes you happy. Holiday World, Santa Claus, Indiana. They even have model railroads of the original Santa Claus Land Railroad, like they have right outside the shop here. Oh, there it is. They also sell mugs of all of the park mascots. This is the famous Holla Dog, the main mascot here. And then some of the individual lands have their own mascots. This is Safari Sam for the water park. George the Eagle for the 4th of July theme and Kitty Claws for the Halloween theme. There's no Thanksgiving. I don't know why that is. Gotta get a turkey in here. Heading back to the OG Santa Claus land. The Christmas theme portion of the park. I think I'm just gonna walk around here, check out a couple shops and call it a night. Only in Holiday World can you hear it's Christmas time all over again with Tom Petty and then turn a corner and you can hear the Exorcist theme playing. Love the variety. Walking into the gift shop at the front. It almost looks like this is Santa's hangout right here. I don't know if Santa himself sits in the chair and you can take pictures. I haven't seen him today. Must be out. Gotta love these Santa Claus coffee mugs. Some of these shirts are pretty cool. Santa Claus Land, where every day is Christmas. And check out this green one. Indiana looks like Santa Claus himself. Ho, ho, ho. That almost sounded like the Jolly Green Giant. They also have Christmas tree ornaments, which I feel like you almost have to get if you're in Holiday World. I feel like I have to get a Christmas ornament. Had to take advantage of one more Pepsi Oasis. This time I'm trying Big Red. It's a, it's a soda that I've never even, I've seen it before down south, but I've never had it before. Tastes like a strawberry cream soda. It's actually not bad. Anyway, check out the decor. I'm in this amazing cafe in the Christmas area. Look at this. We've got the fireplace. All decorated with stockings hung, waiting for Santa Claus. This table is even reserved for Santa's elves, so I better, I better move. I'm gonna get in trouble, I'll be on the naughty list. Look at all of these incredible Christmas murals hanging in this cafe. Santa's workshop. There's one of Kris Kringle himself. A lot of beautiful artwork in here. There's Santa working hard at the workshop with the elves that I was apparently sitting in their seats. There's a nice portrait of the big guy himself, Chris, Kring ugh, Chris Kringle, St. Nicholas, Santa Claus, Father Christmas. There's a picture of Santa kicking back after presumably a long night at work. Oh yeah, December 26th, I'd be kicking back too. And here's a secret Pepsi Oasis over here. And take a look at this mural. This one's probably the coolest one in here. It's Santa Claus hard at work, climbing down the chimney with the reindeer and the sleigh. And I'm, maybe heaven. I don't know what that is. It's a castle in the sky. Christmas in July, can't complain. Well, what a charming park they have here in Santa Claus, Indiana, Holiday World. Incredible theming they have. Some of the best roller coasters I've ever been on. I'm standing right here by this amazing greeting sign, but it's not time to say hello, it's time to say goodbye. For now, this is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Thanks for watching. It's now time for me to get out of here.